comes Daredevil. What's up, everybody? So I'm Bella. First of all, I want to say thank you if you're watching this video. And if you're watching it and you're like, why am I watching this? I thought it'd be a cool idea to start a video series that follows a newer player as they try to get better and progress as the weeks go on. This first video is going to serve as an intro in me sharing some of my thoughts on some topics um, that might be in the fighting game genre. And also give a starting guide for absolute new players where they can find resources that will probably be way better than anything I can explain. And the videos going forward, I think, are going to be more my analysis on things I need to improve on and then work on, and hopefully we'll see that improvement in the next video when it comes out. We'll share our experiences, or maybe we'll have matches together. And I think that'd be a really cool thing. I've been playing a bunch of different fighting games recently, trying to find the one that would really grab me, and Strive's visuals and characters just got me really interested in it. Not to say that I wasn't interested in Guilty Gear before. I really like watching Exerd. For me, I felt like it had been too long. It had been, I think it came out in 2014, and the connection, like the, the net code wasn't that good. So I wasn't sure if I'd be able to find people that I could play um, around my area and actually try and get better because they'd probably be way better than me. And I felt like to learn Exerd's combos and the system and everything it would take too much and then strive was coming out it was a new game so i played in the first beta and it, i had a blast like i think i won at first i i started with giovanna and i think i won like one match in 20 <laughs> in the first like couple times i played but i was having so much fun getting my ass kicked and how much fun you have while it happens really will keep you around i think and i'm having tons of fun with strive um not to say that I couldn't have that much fun with Exerd if I put in the time for it, but I don't know, maybe it's just because it's a new game or the matchmaking. I don't know if they had the same style of matchmaking, but that's another thing about this game is I really feel like the floor system has been doing a good job for me. I'm bopping around between 5th and 6th floor right now, and I've been fighting people that, you know, ultimately I might get beaten like 2-0, but I'll take a round off them, or I'll feel like it's close. That could be tied into the damage. That could be tied into a whole bunch of other stuff that people who have more experience and are more knowledgeable with this than they've made videos probably on this have said better than I can. But that's the reason why I picked Strive. Playing who you want to play is huge. Like, for me, finding a character that feels really cool to play is a huge part of why I'm playing fighting games. And there's a lot of different reasons why someone picks up a fighting game, but for me, the two things that I really like are cool characters and doing cool things. And while the cool things in Guilty Gear Strive are toned down, it still feels really stylish and really cool. So I've been playing Eno because I think she's so cool in this game. I don't know what it is. I know she's slower. I know she doesn't have any of her tools. But the guitar and the animations and her design, I, I really liked it. I started with Giovanna because she had a dog and I loved the colors. And now I'm just like in between both of them. Fighting games feel like more sport oriented to me where you have to do drills. You have to really, if you really want to improve at the game, not saying that you can't just go in and play matches and get better because you will definitely get better that that's how you like learn timings and that's how you learn the, the feel of different characters and how they're going to play and what you can get away with and what you can't get away with. so one thing that i've been trying to do is work on execution work on combos i've seen some higher level players suggest that you start your execution practicing it on the training dummy move to the arcade in the cpu and practice it there on them and then start practicing it in a match when i go online instead of trying to win my goal is I want to be able to hit this combo in a match. I want to be able to do the thing I've been working on. I want to be able to anti-air better in a match. So th these matches I'm focusing on, am I hitting more anti-airs? Am I watching for people air jump? Um, am I watching for more air attacks and stuff like that? 
Another thing I've been trying to work on is finding a balance between playing matches and working on execution. And sometimes it's tough to go into the training mode and just work on motion inputs and your inputs because you just want to go online and you want to play matches. It just feels like you have to do it. If you actually want to improve, you have to do that in fighting games. Because when you go against someone and you get a counter hit and you get like a two hit combo or three hit combo or you do like 10% damage, but then they get a counter hit and they do 30% damage, you're going to be a lot more work for you to win if all you're getting is these two, three, 10%, 15% damage combos and they're getting 30% all the time. You know, so for one counter hit, they're doing double your damage. And that's something that's going to come with execution. I don't know how to describe it. it. It's just that feeling when you're getting beat, 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 and then something clicks and you're starting to beat that matchup and you're starting to land these combos and you're like, man, that f I did something really cool. That felt really awesome. And that's what's been keeping me playing. And another thing I have to work on is not mashing as much. I just panic sometimes when people are getting pressure on me or... I'm trying to hit a move and you're mashing through something. Something I've done in my execution training is really going through the motion and waiting for the animation to finish and then hitting the button, the next button in the series. And if it doesn't come out, try waiting a little longer. And then if it does come out, but it doesn't connect or it's not a real combo, then try it pressing a little quicker and really just trying to get the feel of the timing down. I got to learn how to anti-air better. Um, I got to learn when I can press a button. So I, f I realized I was trying to maybe mash a little bit too much or, you know, like I panicked when I didn't know where to interrupt something. to go to Yuki's, I think his target combo, like is if you just press slash, I think he does it. Like that was getting me a lot. And then his overhead and, and learning when to block and what how to block, you know, how to change my blocking. My go-to, my in my brain, in my, my muscle memory is just no into 2K2D. Like I do that too much. I got to mix it up. Um, another thing I got to work on is getting better at throws. Learning how to like punish Potemkin buttons or, you know, hopefully get in on him and not let him get his start or get pot buster three times in a row i don't think i got pot buster three times in a row but i'm sure if i played like a higher level potemkin i would get pot buster three times in a row because guilty gear strive is being seen as a more newbie friendly game everyone's making beginner guides you can go to youtube and just search guilty gear strive beginner guide you can find tons of people who are putting out like guides on the system mechanics, character specific guides that go through their normals and their combo routes and their game plan. There is a wealth of knowledge out there right now and you can easily find it. There's also the Reddit, there's the Guilty Gear Discord, there's new fighting game player discords. Just go out there and search if you're if you're really hungry for that knowledge. The fighting game glossary by Infilament. He also made an ultimate KI guide. This man went above and beyond. This guide is amazing definitely go and check it out. If you're very new to fighting games and you're like looking up guides and they're saying things like, oh no, this is plus on block, or this is a frame trap, or this is a car cancel, and you have no idea what's going on, that will be your savior. It's so cool to use. It's so intuitive. Just search up or look through. They have game specific guides like, what is a psych burst in Guilty Gear? Content creators right now that are making, there's a bunch of them. If you look up pretty much any like character specialist you can probably find their guide on their character um, some notable ones right now is uh, Lord Knight uh, he has been making a lot of system mechanic tutorials as well as Amelia guide if you're a Amelia player um, Sajam who's a commentator who's one of my favorite content creators has got a bunch of useful guys and full sets another good one for just video analysis is Core A Gaming Tons of great content there. If you want to break down, like, learning and break down the, the give and take and the mind space of fighting games, Patrick Miller. Uh, follow him. He's got a Patreon. He's got... Um, he publishes articles on fighting games, how to get better, how to learn. He has YouTube clips. You can go and watch, like, his long-form YouTube discussions from the stream. Watch his stream. It's fun as hell. I mean, I don't think he's going to be playing Strive, but if you want to watch... Exert, great place to watch Exert stuff, but his his analysis, his breakdown of fighting games, and just like thinking about 
like things in general is is great. But yeah, there's a bunch of other people like on Twitch. I'll try to put them in the description below so you can click and check them out. Everyone, thanks for sticking around for the first video. Uh, hopefully I'll have more coming through. Y'all can uh, progress with me. If you did watch this and you feel like leaving a comment and saying who you're playing and what floor you're on and we can grow together, be well, keep mashing on those buttons, and I'll see you guys next time.